Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? It's me, Paddy, from across the shock, and it's uh, it's Hump Day Wednesday, and I've decided I'm going to do another wee series because I'm enjoying doing them because I'm getting out knives that I maybe don't handle too much, but I just wanted to challenge myself to get through lots of my uh, my collection. And today I'm going to say I'm going to have on Wednesdays I'm going to have knife wars, Wednesday knife wars. Um, and the reason is it's it's not to um, these are knives that are in my collection that I like that I enjoy using. Although some of them I don't get to use very often, but that's not the point. I, you know, I, it's I don't have to use every knife often. I collect them because I just like having them in my my collection. That's it. I'm not a hard user. I don't beat these knives up, but I like having them in my collection. And these two are two beauties. Um, one was last year's model and one is this year's model. Uh, well, this is an updated version uh, of a previous model, but they're in that price drawn. These are mid-range priced knives. They're they're just over the £50, so they're in the mid-range. It doesn't really matter, but that's that's just where they sit. And uh, I'd got this and I said, next year I'll try to get something to replace this. And I got this. And now I have them both. I don't want to get rid of either one of them because they're too <laughs> this is such a good knife and so is this. And they're different enough that I can keep them in the collection. One's a flipper and one's a, a thumb stud. So that's enough to keep it. This has got the hole in it. So I'm not a fidgety sort of person, but I wanted to put these knives, if I wanted to fidget, you know, apart from my, my bench maids with the access lock, these are two fantastic fidget knives. Now, I'm not a thumb flicker and all this, but it's the action on these that has made them stay in the, the collection and uh, they're not going anywhere. So let's get into it. It's Kaiser versus QB. Two great companies that are doing it that are knocking out. Look, their knives are coming out every other week or sometimes two a week. I mean, they're, they're just coming out a lot with knives. And I have no intention of getting back into that buying the latest and greatest. That's not what my channel is about anymore. It used to be. No, I was on that budget range, but it was still. I tried to get the newest ones first to get them on the channel, that usual nonsense, but I don't have to do that anymore, which is nice. But I wanted to, to, to put these against each other so that you can see why I'm picking these for my channel, that I want them to be there so that they're, they're, they're a great comparison to other knives that come out. There's only so many shapes you can get in knives. There's only so many things you can do with a knife as in fidget factor. But these two have got some of my favourite um, things about them. Let's start. Just start. I'm waffling. This is a QB322. It's in G10. Uh, it's all blacked out, apart from the blue G10. Um, the hardware, the blade. Um, it's a flipper. It's a finger flicker. You can do that with it. Not that I do it that often, but... This is what makes this special in a knife at that price bracket. That is beautiful. But I'm just going to start with the presentation, how the knife looks. To me, this looks lovely. This looks like a knife that you can do work with. For me, that thick handle, you know, that the depth there is just fantastic. This pocket clip is stupendous. And even with that nasty little hump there, when I put my hands in there, that disappears into the here, into the creases down here. You can see that down there into the creases, and I do I cannot feel it. I can just make it disappear by literally just moving my hand like that, and it's gone. So I could work long hours with this and not have a problem. I have no problem at the back here. This is it's deep enough here that it's resting over the end of my finger, uh, and just superb in hand aesthetically. That looks gorgeous. It's got that Arius type of a blade. This doesn't look like the Arius, but it has that Arius type of blade, that high flat ground, comes down to a thin enough angle on this sort of a knife. You can slice tomatoes if that's what you really want to do with it. No problem. It is gorgeous. Thin behind the edge. Just a beautiful grind. I love the, uh, the hole, the filler there. It just looks gorgeous. And that pocket clip, it's deep enough that you don't see it. It's black, so it doesn't stand out. It doesn't shine and twinkle. It's a liner lock, which I really do prefer these days. But the action on this, really, it just you can just drop it and you can guide it down. 
that on a on a, a mid range knife was unheard of five or six years ago. You couldn't have done that because the bearings have got so much better. They're using things now. The flipper tab on this it works. It's a bit like a barn gate, but you've got a big lump of metal here. It's not particularly thick. You can see that, but it is a lot of material that you're going to have to move to get it out of the way. A flick of the wrist and it sounds much better. And it's just that. That's all it is to help this big blade out. But this is just fantastic. Last year I was over the moon with this. And uh, really, really, it, it floats my boat. Look-wise, aesthetic-wise, the fit and finish on this is absolutely fantastic. And look, you know I don't go into nitpicky things. But there isn't even any nitpicky things with this. I mean, it, it's just everything about it. The grind's good. It came sharp out of the box. It just the action on it is amazing. Everything is done that they've got jimping on here in the right way. It's decanted down, so there's no point. You can sit down there and you can press it out, and it'll come out fast enough when you depress it and build up the pressure. So, it, so much going for it, but the action is where it's at. It really is super. But the nice thing about it, I can just slow roll it. I like that. Because that's the way I open it most of the time. Because if I've got this right, I'm not. I don't really want to put people off or scare people. And this way, I don't. It's thin enough. It sits in the pocket, lovely. It's taken up a bit of pocket space, but I only carry my main knife in my front pocket, front right pocket. I don't put anything else into it uh, that's going to damage it or scratch it. Do you know what I mean? And I, I, again, this is a mid-range knife. It's not really expensive um, for a non-knife person. It would be, but. For us, and if you've been around a while, you know what you'll spend on a knife. This is, a, you know, basically, a, it's like a budget. Um, the higher end of budget is just over that 50 mark. I absolutely adore it. And I think Kubi are really doing some. I have another one Kubi there. I have another one on the way. They actually sent me another one. So um, I'm over the moon. Over the moon. Now I bought this one. Um, just adore it. Fantastic knife. And it's up against another company at the minute that is really coming back into vogue. It, it went a wee bit quiet for a while, a couple of years, but it's now coming back. This is the Kaiser T1. When it first came out, it was in the titanium. It was a, an amazing hit for Kaiser. This has got the lovely little tiny pocket clip on it, which I adore again. Great pocket clip. It's deep carry. It's not, well, it is shiny a bit, but there we go. This is a thumb stud. <laughs> just the, the noise of that turns me on. It really just whacks out. But look at that. Again, nice depth here. So it's it's going to be a knife that I'm going to do work with. i got a lovely grip. The, the clip at the back does not give me any hot spots whatsoever. So I could work all day with this if I needed to. And I wouldn't be worried at all. A nice deep blade. This has got the slicer ground. Like the hinderer slicer blade. Very thin behind the edge again. Uh, as a work knife, fantastic. Sorry, that one's in D2, but it's covered in the coating. Uh, so it's I don't even rust D2 when it hasn't got coating, but that having the coating is fantastic. This isn't a steel that I really like. 154 cm, absolutely amazing steel. For a non-powdered steel, I absolutely love it. Be easy to sharpen, takes a really good edge and a mirror polished edge if you want it. I haven't got a mirror polished edge and I don't really want it. This would be more a knife. I take this or I put this in my pocket when I know I'm going to do a lot of work or, you know, even if it was just doing five or six cardboard boxes, this is great. But aesthetically, it's beautiful. I love that micarta. This is some of the best micarta I feel it is out there. In the hand, it's got that rough but not coarse. That makes any sense. It, it's warm in the hand to touch. It gives you plenty of grip. You have no worry about slipping up. It doesn't need any jimping whatsoever. You can just set your hand there because you can see there's a, here it's just flat, absolutely perfect. And that is a lovely grip. I'm close enough up to, up to the, the edge of the knife that I don't have to worry about it. The blade, the grind is lovely. It's like a hollow grind, this one. I think it is a bit of a hollow, isn't it? Let me just check that. No, it's flat. There you go. So much what I know. Flat grind, really super. Great cutter, great slicer. Uh, lovely access to the, the liner lock. And again, let me just tell you, this one, look at that. Come on. 
I mean, yeah, honestly, five or six years ago, this was unheard of in a knife at this price range that could do that sort of thing. There's a great detent on it, which is why it gives that absolutely superb opening. And you can also, if you want, you can flick it with your middle finger if that's what you want. Again, so it's a couple of options um, with this sort of knife. Obviously, you don't have to, to, you can take it out slowly and just, it actually pops out. The detent is so good. What's this? It just pops out and then you can go slowly open. For the poor sheep out there who get frightened of a pocket knife. So, which one is my favourite? Um, It's the Kaiser. I'm, I'm just not even going to lead you up the garden path. I love this. I think it's fantastic. And it's my knife that, you know, I'll if I want to flick and do fancy stuff, this is just super. It's also a good knife. But this, my carter, makes all the difference. This is superb. Uh, I want to get some more Kaisers with this sort of, but I'll go up the range a little bit. But honestly, it's just everything you could want in a knife. Size-wise, it's a bit smaller than this. It's a fair bit smaller, actually. It's about, must be about near enough half an inch, I would say, smaller. But again, it's not big neither of the two of them are that big this is the depth of this is a bit more let me just depth on these two it's a little bit deeper the blue one but uh, to be honest with you not enough that's going to make any difference to me um the fit and finish on this is absolutely superb there's no hard corners there's nothing that's the blade is beautifully grind you can see how centered it is there on the the blade tang here it both of them have just got excellent fit and finish. This one's easier to get to in the in the centre, but it's not that. It, I mean, it really is simply. These blades, steels are fantastic. The grind on them is fantastic. The handle materials are great. D2 is another great material for a working knife. So is the... Uh, the there's, there's nothing really can set, them, can set them apart except for me. And I like this. Little bit smaller, not much. But I, that's my, my genre is smaller knives. A little bit smaller, but the handle material just on the Kaiser are doing, I think it's the best out there at the moment. I really genuinely do. Um, the thumb stud, I, I prefer, I think, more over the flicking knife. I'm not really a flicking knife lover. In fact, I have very, very few in my collection that are flicking knives. Um, this is just nice. It's tidy. I don't have a pocket poker. Not that that's ever bothered me, big or small, because it's the only thing I put in my front pocket. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just, and the slicer grind on this, I like more. Um, it just gives a, a a sexy appeal. The blade looks sexy. It looks ready to work. There's movement in it. But this also has movement in it. You know, you can see these going, it's just beautiful knives. There's not much difference in the blade. If I try to get them blades lined up, there's not much difference in the blade size, you know. Nothing that's going to make that a problem. But there are two beautiful knives that I have in my collection. Um, and I'm going to keep them both. I'm not getting rid of this, which, I, which I'd said. And how many times have you heard me over the years saying, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to change it out and get a, another medium price ones just to keep in the collection. I can't separate these enough to change them. I don't want to change them. So they're going to stay. <laughs> they're just going to stay. I'll try in another genre to not get something. That could be difficult as well. But there we go. Two beautiful knives. Um... I'm not looking for any more in this uh, price bracket this year. You know, I'm really happy that I've got this T1. I think it is amazing. Amazing. It's a little bit dearer than this. I think this is about the 70s. This is in the 50s. But oh, you, you just couldn't go wrong with these, especially if you're a knife user. These knives are made for use. And sadly, I'll not you know, put them that much to the test. Although this year I'm going to get outside and take them camping and things like that and just see what they like with a bit of wood, sit around a fire and uh, talk about them. But two gorgeous knives. I hope you like this sort of review. Um, it's really not a review on a knife. It's a review on my choice of why these two are lovely knives to own and have in my collection. <laughs> and if I get to use them, all the more better. Take care, everybody. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. And uh, I'll see you next Wednesday for another war. Today's Kaiser VQB 
in my eyes, the Kaiser is better, but both are amazing choices. Not one, none's better than the other as such, even in materials, except the feel of this is what separates it from this. That's very, very tiny. Um, there you go. Bye now. Have a lovely day. Bye.